This is Mike with Skolton's Equipment, and today we're looking at the BX1880. Comes equipped with a front loader, bucket, it's four wheel drive. You can uh, have an optional mower deck, not in, on this tractor right now. It's a three cylinder diesel tractor. The engine is made by Kubota. The transmission's made by Kubota. The loader's made by Kubota. Heck, everything on this tractor is made by Kubota, except the tires. Kubota is proud of what they make and they make it well and they do it in their own factories. They don't hire any other uh, manufacturer to do it. And it's a product of Kubota and only Kubota. Um, the BX1880 is the smallest tractor Kubota produces that you can put a front loader on. Um, it also has a three point hitch on the back that you can put any three point hitch attachment on that the tractor will be able to power. And it comes, majority of your implements are gonna be 42 inches wide, some are 48. Uh, box blades, I'd probably stay in the 48 range. Uh, a rotary cutter, probably 42 inches. Mid-mount mowers, you can go up to 54 inches. Um, this tractor is equipped with an optional skid steer style quick attach, two lever. So you can run any skid steer attachment like pallet forks, um, grapples. It has a 344 loader on it. And pretty much to get your weight rating on the loader, you take this as a metric ton, uh, metric rating. So Take this number, multiply it by 2.2, and you have, your, you have your lift rating at your pins. That's what it will do. Um, this tractor has the same loader as the BX2380 and the BX2680. The 1880 has 18 horsepower. Um, it is liquid-cooled diesel. It's very smooth-running diesel. And it comes equipped with a one-piece hood. You can see the engine in there. The, another thing Kubota did on this, they gave a swift-tatch loader. So, um, I could take this loader off in a matter of seconds. And what is really cool is, is um, you can get at the maintenance items a lot easier. Um, one thing Kubota does is they take the air from here and push it through the engine that way. All the other competitors in this, in this uh, class of tractor take the air from here and push it this way. And on a hot summer day, you'll be sweating bullets. Uh, let me show you how the loader comes off. It's really slick. I will uh, start the tractor up, glow plug it of course for a few seconds, fires up. It is a tier 4 engine but no emission control, you see that black smoke a little bit. Um, so what you do, the first thing you do is you raise the loader up and like you're dump, dumping a bucket of dirt, you dump it like so and then you lift this lever here and it releases the loader stand. And now that the loader stand is released. You lift up on the front tires and you flip these two levers, just like so. And then you curl your bucket back, just like so. And you back up slightly, kill the tractor, release the hydraulics. And you got a cool single lever for hydraulic quick detach right there. And we are detached, folks. There was no uh, video editing on that. That was that fast. And then it makes the getting at the maintenance items really, really slick because the loader's not in your way to get at your fluids. Your oil filter's right here, oil fills right here. You get your dipstick kind of hiding right here. Um, and then since the air is coming in this way through the tractor, you want to check the screen. It's really important. A lot of people forget about this screen and they'll call us and wonder, hey, my tractor's running a little warm. Then we pull this screen up and it's completely plugged. And so it's, it's handy to check that screen every now and then. Your battery is under here, and it's just, you undo this to get to it. Um, another thing Kubota did that none of the, any of the competition are doing, um, they did an integrated control lever on an 18 horsepower diesel tractor, something you see on the big tractors. So the loader valve is under here, it's not way out here. So you can get on and off the tractor really easy from both sides. Um, you got a high and a low range on the tra hydrostatic transmission. Push the pedal forward to go forward, backwards to go backwards. You got selectable four wheel drive right here. You want to bring them in and show them these controls. So yeah, right here you got the, the four wheel drive lever right there. You got the three point raise and lower. This will also uh, raise and lower your mower deck if you have one on it. Um, brake over here. And your light cluster here, you can turn on your flashers if you're on a busy road or moving your tractor somewhere. Uh, it's got a mid-mount PTO to power the mower deck again. It's got a rear PTO. Actually, this is 
this is rear, this is mid mount. This is to power both. A lot of people always ask me, why would you want to run both of the PTOs at the same time? The mainly the only time I can think of is if we're running a mid mount mower deck and a powered bagger at the same time, you will uh, need to have them both running to have them work. So that's what that one's for. Other, the, one of the last things, Kubota, two things. They put a uh, foldable roll bar on it so you can get it in your shed if it's really low. And the last thing, they put a cigarette lighter or a cell phone charger, as they're called today, in this little compartment here to keep it out of the weather. Cup holder, little Kubota lever. Anyways, this is the BX1880. It's, uh, it's really the only tractor in 18 horsepower that you can put a loader on these days. Anyways, call us, 360-354-4071, uh, or check us out on the web. We have everything pictured and priced, including this tractor right here. Thanks. Humdinger, humdinger, humdinger.